Drug maker Merck says it has a pill that people can take to fight COVID without going to the hospital. If approved, the Food and Drug Administration says it would be the first antiviral pill to treat COVID-19. Merck plans to submit an application for emergency use authorization after seeing promising trial results. An interim analysis found the drug reduced the risk of hospitalizations or death by 50%. Let's bring in Dr. Mike. We had to to talk about this one. Good evening, doctor. How are you? I'm doing great, Chris. I hope you're doing well. You look fantastic as always. Thank you. Now, this pill uh, really could be a game changer. Tell us more about it. Well, it's an antiviral drug, and it has been so good in the, in the studies that they actually stopped the study early because they felt, hey, this, this is so amazing. We got to get this emergency use authorization going and get it out to people. What's great about it, Chris, is that it's an oral medicine. It's, it's a pill. And basically, rather than using intravenous drugs like remdesivir or monoclonal antibodies, uh, this can be given by someone like me. If someone like you called me and said, hey, Dr. Mike, I just got fit, uh, diagnosed with COVID. Uh, what do I do? Now we can give you this and you don't have to go to the hospital for it. We keep a close eye on you. It's fabulous news. That is good news. Now, uh, other news coming out. The FDA is now considering a, uh, a half a dose of the Moderna vaccine to be used as a booster shot. Uh, why just half a dose? Well, the Moderna vaccine has such a good effect on stimulating antibodies that you only need half. And that'll solve a couple issues. One, it'll make more vaccine available. But the real reason is you don't need more, and that can reduce some of the side effects and concerns that people have. Uh, it's, it's a win-win situation. And for those out there who got Johnson & Johnson, theirs is coming too. Just hang in there. And doctor, I, I wanted to get you on another uh, health story coming out unrelated to COVID, but a positive story uh, outside of COVID vaping uh, report coming out today that vaping is down in teens due to the pandemic. That is also good news. Well, it's great news. It's about 40% reduced in usage, thought to be due maybe to peer pressure not being there because kids were home. The problem with this is that they're using these disposable puff bars and they're candy flavored. They have these flavors that appeal to young people. And listen, Chris, I, I have I know you have kids and I have a 13 year old and a nine year old. Eleven percent of teenagers are using these and about three percent of middle school kids are using them. Now, if I found out either of my kids were using these, I would really go crazy. Bottom line is nothing goes in your lungs. We need to get rid of all of that. Good news, but let's go further. All right, Dr. Mike Srigliano joining us with all the tips. Thank you, Dr. Mike, love you. Love you, man, you're the best. Thank you, you're Dr. the best, Chris. All right, <laughs> happening right now.